has had a very eventful week. And let's go back to first practice, BP. He got in somebody else's oil. Yes, the 86, Mike Cope had a, an engine problem going down in turn one, and Kurt Busch turns through it, and he gets in the oil and spins, and man, that thing snaps around him right in the wall. So that is the truck that he's using today is their Homestead truck for next week. And here we go, underneath now, the XI Ford. Bush oh, trying to make a bit for the no. lead. Oh, he's turned it around. Can he save it? Hold on, Kurt. He's lighting up the tires, trying to keep it off the wall. And he does. Not nearly as bad, though, as the ride Kurt Bush is about to take again. Truck breaks loose, whips hard into the wall outside first. Fire breaks out under the hood and under the back of the truck. Kurt is okay, though. Let's go to Glenn Jarrett in victory lane. And Kurt Bush, Bush pulls up here. Kurt, congratulations, man. Great job. You totally dominated that thing for your first victory. It was tough. I didn't think we had the truck to beat after we put on right sides at the end, but awesome job by those guys right there. This is one hell of a team. They're coming together. Our pit stops were awesome. Outside batteries, Roush. He's given me a great opportunity. Greg Buffel, what an awesome teammate. This is awesome. Congratulations. That's one heck of a rookie driver, too, Eli. Indeed, he is. Kurt Busch grabs the victory, and he was dominant from the get-go. So for Jerry Glanville, Glenn Jarrett, and Steve Burns, I'm Eli Gold, saying so long from Wisconsin, where Kurt Busch has won the Milwaukee 200. Mike Wallace has anything. He has to show it right now, and I do believe Kurt Busch has a better truck. But here he comes on the inside. Whoa, Whoa. they made contact. He almost spins. Wallace has to get out of the gas. And here comes Tolzma. Tolzma's got to run. Down to the inside. Wallace blocks. They hit each other, and that gives Bush clear track. Here comes Biffle on the outside. He's making the move. Cannot do it. Gets up in the loose stuff. Falling back. Andy Houston side by side with Biffle. And they touch and scramble, and Kurt Bush wins. It's over. And everybody ran into everybody, but the leader couldn't Kurt Bush. He wins his second Craftsman truck race in a row on the Granger Ford. You can see the right rear is down. The right rear is clearly down. Now, did he flat spot it? But or was that what turned him around? You got to believe that's what turned him around. Well, remember, Bush changed left side tires back on lap 79. And we'll see what we can find out on the replay. Can't tell if he uh, had any help on that. The, the spin had already started at that point. Now, this is just a moment ago, and Kurt Busch obviously not very happy, but I can't see why Jack Sprague, oh boy, that was, that was pretty serious. Mike Dave Burns said he's getting a little oh. loose. This time by oh, he's three the lights the wall, and now there's contact. Out of the way. Wallace spinning around, lights the tires up, keeps it off the wall. Now, I wasn't loose up off the corner. I drove the thing straight past the start finish line and got turned around. I mean, I don't think that has nothing to do with chassis. That, uh, that's just a very unethical way to win a race, and it's a shame. I mean, if they're, you know, they're having to win races and points race. I mean, we basically dominated this race all day. You know, the 15 and 99 led a few laps, but predominantly we led the whole thing, and we got taken out. Bush, the young driver from Las Vegas, Nevada, in the John Deere Ford, took over this car at Dover. Here is the replay. And it looks like the 97 of Kurt Busch got into the left rear quarter panel of the car number 50 of Craven. This is from Steve Parks on board. Oh. Got a little help uh, from, from Kurt Busch, but I know he probably didn't mean to do it, so it's cool. Uh, I won't go back out there and try to kill him. But uh, <laughs> had a good run. Let's see as Earnhardt Jr. closes <laughs> in again. Uh, I'll give it his miracle. This is not for position. It's nothing other than probably the to mess with the mind of young Kurt Busch a little bit after it was Busch who uh, hit Earnhardt Jr. in the caboose and sent him spinning earlier. It looked from our long range camera as though Earnhardt Jr. had done the same to Jimmy Spencer. Uh, first, you know, if Bush gets a little wiggle there and Earnhardt doesn't hit him, I guess that's okay, huh? Intimidating Jr. 
Well, he's making Bush think about it. I guarantee you see those that. green numbers, by the way, in the rundown. Anytime you see a green number or green speed, that's a driver who's going faster, like Jared and Park, going faster than Jeff Burton right now. No. <laughs> he's just messing with him. Yeah. He is I, I just, think you're exactly right. He is just messing with him. Very effectively.